Hi, I'm Gabrielle. Um, going to try to make this as short as possible. Um, I'm not on TikTok. Talk. I'm not on YouTube. And I'm not on Facebook to get hit on. Just like none of the other creators who are artists or readers or anything else. Now, if you want me to design a piece of jewelry, bead woven jewelry for you, or beaded jewelry for you, maybe not so woven these days because of my thumbs right now, but uh, I can create some really beautiful jewelry. If you want a water resistant paper craft cup, to put your pencils in, I gotcha. If you really want a reading, that's $15 straight up and I will do it, I guess. I can do it. Um, now, what I can't do is abide by telling people this stuff and they just want to keep on going. And this I'm doing more for the younger women who are really trying. Who have talent. Real talent. Not just because they're pretty. Or just because you think. That it's cool to uh, DM a woman. And just not take no for an answer. And I know. If I'm getting that. Yeah, that's about a dollar. That younger girls are too. And y'all need to stop. It's ridiculous. When somebody tells you why they're somewhere, like I said, I have a WhatsApp. I'm not giving that out to anybody. That's actually the only people who get my WhatsApp are other creators, other artists. And that's has nothing to do with anything but business. Just to say that it just makes it easier for me. Now if I've invited you into my world and told you. I do. You can find my YouTube by looking at my uh, TikTok. And I do accept people. But um. I was raised with six brothers. And a dad. And let me tell you something. The audacity of some of y'all. And all I can think of is my nieces. I don't care. I, I'm, a, I'm not a single woman. I'm actually a wife and a mom. I do what I do for my family to try to earn money for my family. So I can take care, I help take care of my family. I practice kindness. But when I tell you this, this, and this is what I do, I will talk to somebody if they need me. 90% of the time is not men who, who message me for a conversation because they're too stressed or because they, there's something going on. It's usually women, and I'm good with that. I'm glad I can be there. But, um, like I said, I was raised with six brothers and all their friends, and I've never seen this much bad behavior. Listen, I wear tank tops because it's hot. I live in South Carolina. I don't know if anybody knows this. But it gets really hot. And today I'm wearing a t-shirt just to make this because I was like, oh, the only one I need to think I'm pretty is my man. 
He is the only one I care if he thinks I'm pretty. Out of men. I do believe in uplifting people. And there's a lot of lost people. And I promise I will pray for y'all no matter what. And I've decided Mondays are probably a good day to do a weekly prayer. Daily prayers. I'm running out of sage. And I can't get no more sage at the moment. So, small town. But that's not the point. This is getting longer than I expected. Point being, this is not controversial at all. This is telling you, yo, act right. And I know. I mean, shoot. My best friend's a dude. My brothers, all six of them, obviously dudes. My husband, I have two male children. My whole life is surrounded by guys, so it really makes me angry when I see a guy acting like that. If I'm friendly to you, if I'm encouraging to you, that's because that's who I am. It's not, a, it's not an invitation. And I promise you, a lot of the other girls that you're going to call out all those names to because they didn't give you the time of day and you're going to harass them. They didn't ask for it either. They were just doing their own thing. And I'm a strong proponent for men's mental health. I'm a strong proponent for men in general. Like I said, I got a lot of men in my life and I love them all. But I don't love the fact that you will come into somebody's DMs and start talking to them and negate everything they've told you about their work or anything else and keep trying to get what you want. That's not cool. I really hope y'all have a blessed day and I really hope this hits right. Peace.